promises to be fulfilled that God made to us. And so we as saints that know the truth, we have not succumbed to that fear, and we should be encouraging the others to believe. Amen. To not fear, to be not afraid, only believe. But with God, nothing is impossible. Amen. Amen. And then the other thing is the other shoe is that with him that believer, all things, all things are possible. So if we can just get people to stop being fearful and start believing God. He didn't never say, he said in the word you're going to have to believe. Amen. Didn't he say? Amen. He said the impossible that offenses will not come. Didn't he say? Mm -hmm. Say that if God in Christ you that shall suffer persecution. Didn't he say? Amen. Then they will see you and call by my name and they will hate you. Didn't he say? Mm -hmm. Then in other places he said they will kill you and say that they do what God will serve you. Mm -hmm. So how is it that so many People that say they love the Lord and know the Lord have allowed this test to cause them to become crippled <coughs> by fear. I remember Jesus saying, uh, except a man, a father, mother, sister, brother, wife, children, yeah, in his own life also, he can in no wise be my disciple. But yet it seems like that there are so many people that claim to be followers of Christ that are in love with their life. Mm -hmm. Paul said, Demas, having loved this present world, has forsaken me. Let us all examine ourselves and see whether we're really in the faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. Especially the one that Jews said was once delivered unto the saints, where they were willing to die and count it a joy to suffer for his name's sake. Mm -hmm. Count it a pleasure that they would be counted worthy to suffer for his name's sake. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. That kind of Christianity is rare in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. But overseas, you can find it. Like right now, the, uh, the tragedy that's going on in Nigeria, mm -hmm. and the genocide that has been being committed against Christians around the world since, since back in the early 2000s. And nothing has been done about it. The whole lot of rhetoric. But nothing really has been done. Amen. It's not. Everyone wants to justify, condone, chip coat, whitewash, extremism for Islam. Mm. But not good for Christians. Mm -hmm. Not concerned about the saints. They're always putting down the church, talking about Jesus, putting them down, criticizing, say it's a fairy tale or myth. But yet they promote Islam, mm -hmm. which is a, a militant religion. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe in them, if you don't convert, mm -hmm. you lose your life. Mm -hmm. But that's not the way it is with Christianity. If you don't want Christ, you can go your way. That's the way it is. But they're so afraid of this, this Jesus, they'll do anything in the world to stop them from talking about him. Hello? But isn't he the only one that can save you? Yeah. Amen. Hmm? Amen. I'm, I'm in the spirit of the season for something they're really going through, so y'all just give me a minute. Amen. My spirit is praying for them while I'm talking to y'all. I don't like to tell y'all everything that be going on, but if you, if you, if you sensitive in the spirit, you know. But uh, make sure you remember that we are dealing with that weapon that we call praying mm -hmm. with all prayer and supplication in the spirit mm -hmm. for all, mm -hmm. all saints. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then Paul said, especially me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So that's that's why I'm taking up. I'm trying to talk to you what's in my spirit talking about, and I'm also trying to see to this person or they're really going through something. The devil is a deal. Amen. His influence is broken and destroyed, and this thing will turn around. Amen. You know, one of the things that saves me a lot of times is that and all we forget about it that God gave his angel charge over us. Thank you, Lord. To do what? To keep us in all our ways. They will make ministers spirits for those who are heirs of salvation. Mm -hmm. So you can believe and you can confess 
the word of God and charge the angel to carry it out. Mm -hmm. So right now, host of angels, I charge you to go forth and help that individual to deliver them, tell them out, bring them out of this situation. Amen. 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 So we're going back to the sixth chapter of Ephesians, where I think we left all we may not left off there, but I'll be quoting the scripture. But we're going to use that foundation to start off to kick off the night. I started going back to talking about end time signs, but this is something that you need to fortify yourself. And, and regardless of what's going on, whether it's the end time or not the end time, you need to know this. Because sin is abounding everywhere. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. Everywhere you look, people are choosing the way of darkness mm -hmm. and, and, forsake, and forsaking the way of light, mm -hmm. the way of holiness. Mm -hmm. They don't believe in repentance anymore. Mm -hmm. They don't believe in sanctification anymore. Mm -hmm. They don't believe in holiness anymore. Mm -hmm. They've tried to change those words and mean what they want them to mean. Mm -hmm. See, the Bible says God is light in him, there's no darkness at all. Right? Mm -hmm. God is light in him, there is no darkness. And he said, be ye holy, for I am holy. Amen. 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 So we supposed to be holy as he is holy. Amen. Amen. I know I need to let that settle out, but we people that embrace the way of this world, the way of the secular world, and have so compromised their faith, don't even know they're not in the faith. Amen. Jesus came to take away sin. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hello. Amen. And I think the words that he took out, he pulled out sin, though. In his own body upon the tree. That's right. That we being dead, dead to sin dead. should no longer live therein. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. So it, 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 we're supposed to be dead to it while we're living in it. Let me leave that alone. Tell first the sixth chapter of the book of Ephesians, uh, Epistle of Ephesians says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore he said, take unto you the whole arm of God, that you may be able to, what? To withstand an evil day. To withstand. Withstand means you're standing against something. Mm -hmm. To withstand the onslaught, whatever's coming at you. And having done all to stand, stand therefore. Amen. Amen. I'll never forget that. Amen. I follow in the gospel of my mentor of the Lord, man, that prayed me through. Uh, I know that many times I was going through as a young Christian because I love to go pick fights. Mm -hmm. You know how you do that? Go witness. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got a lot of Christians that they don't want to rock the boat, so they don't witness. Mm. So I don't call them Christians. You got a lot of church folk. Amen. 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 Claiming to be Christians. Mm -hmm. But see, Christians are out doing the works of Christ. Mm -hmm. So I'm out doing the works of Christ and rocking the boat. All right. I'm going to get my feet in the church <laughs> <laughs> and being cut off from people's company. Mm -hmm. And I would go back to my father and the gospel, my mentor, the man that God used to lead me in Christ. I would pray you through whichever way you want to look at it. And I would say to him what I was going through, and, and he would look at me and he'd say, Son, when you'd have done all you know to do to stand, stand. Amen. <laughs> and there was a few times he kept saying that to me, and finally I got it. Stand anyhow. Amen. So Paul went on to say, Having your lawn girded about in the truth, that makes sure you're in the truth. Having on the breastplate of righteousness, make sure you live right. Amen. Amen. And your feet shall with the preparation of the gospel of peace, always ready to share the gospel. Mm -hmm. Then he said, above all, taking the shield of faith. The shield of faith is trusting what God said. Amen. 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 You need every one of us, and I, this is not what I'm going to talk about tonight, but I'm sharing it while I'm going through it. Every one of us need to, to, to renew our mind in the promises of God. Thank you, Lord. So that we know at any given moment what God said about the situation, mm -hmm. so that we won't, won't be overcome mm -hmm. with the fear. In the shock of the moment. Hello. Amen. Because it is so easy for the enemy to take advantage of you when you don't know what God says. Mm. Amen. Amen. It doesn't matter what's going on around you. You know the storms. Mm -hmm. Jesus walking on the water. He never, when, why did Jesus, before he left the shore, rebuke the storm? He comes strolling on the water and it was raging. And the storm was raging. Mm -hmm. The disciples were about, about to die. They were so scared they were going to drown. 
But Jesus walking on the water like it was just crystal clear and calm as calm as calm as a cucumber, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But it was raging. The water was buffering, buffering, or whatever you call it. The billows were rolling. Amen. The breakers were dashing. Mm -hmm. But he walked on the water as though it was a flat ground. Thank you, Lord. And the disciples were afraid for their life. Hello. So what does that give us revelation about? It don't matter how tumultuous the times are. That oh God. That Thank you, Lord. 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 Yeah, she pushed it out. That does not move our Lord. Lord. Yeah, man. The circumstances don't shake him. Thank you, Lord. So we need to get be strong in the Lord. Get to that place in God where we know who he is and what he is and what he said about the situation. So that we are not at fault that none of these things will move you. Let me move on. I'll be taught a whole lesson on that. So it's in taking the shield of faith. About, I mean, put on the preparation of the gospel of peace. Have your feet shot for the gospel of peace. Amen. Let me let me get my eyes focused back on this. <laughs> and above all, taking the shield of faith, where you shall be able to quench, quench all the fiery dots of the wicked. And if you study James, the third chapter, it talks about the enemy trying to set on fire the course of nature. And he talks about the tongue being a little fire and how great a matter a little fire killing them. So when the enemy is shooting those fiery dots at you, he's trying to get you to say something. That's it. He got that fear. And I won't stay that too long, but he's trying to get you to say something. He's trying to get you to say what's going on mm -hmm. and, to, and not say what God said. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because he can get you to agree with him and call that thing by his name, you take possession of it. Hello? That's it. If your circumstances are contrary to what you want, what did God say? Lord. Don't say what your circumstances are. Thank you, Lord. Say what God said. Amen. Lord, hallelujah. Amen. So now he goes on to say, and take the helmet of salvation. Which is your hope in Jesus Christ. Amen. You know what happened about the, I think it's Proverbs Solomon said that a broken spirit is like a city without a wall. Amen. Then it said in another place, hope deferred make the heart sick. And I like when David said he learned to encourage his own heart. Then the word he patted himself on the back and said, Go ahead, my boy, go ahead. Amen. Amen. And it's good to be able to encourage your own heart in the Lord. Yeah. And not be waiting on somebody else to exalt you, encourage you. So if you learn how to encourage your own heart, that will pump yourself up, prime yourself up in the Word of God. You won't be defeated as well. Amen. Hello, Amen. You hear what I'm saying? You won't be depressed and discouraged and always woe with me. Amen. And people are trying to figure out why you always have to seem like you're always upbeat. Because you already know what God said. No matter what it looked like. God saved you. But where was God when this happened? Where he's always been. Yeah. Waiting yeah. on you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Somebody might say, we know me to do what? Say what he said. Yeah. God only wants to be believed. Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's why Jesus kept saying, where is your faith? Oh, your little faith. Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. Be not afraid. Because yeah. they were always looking elsewhere instead of trusting in God. Have faith in God. God. You believe in God? You say, believe also in me. Lord. Amen. But the thing is that people today are not taught to have faith. Mm. Had a guy tell me one time, you one of them fake people preachers? Yes. But you are saved by grace right. through faith. Amen. So grace won't work unless you got faith. Right. Grace is given when you have faith. No faith, no grace. Amen. You get it? Oh, you're saved by grace through faith, that not of yourself. It is the gift of God. And what's done by the grace, what's done by faith. Because grace is given to the who? Oh. So you gotta do something to get grace. Mm -hmm. Submit yourself under what God said. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Bring your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, and the captivity to what God said. Be not conformed to the word. Thank you, Lord. But transform. By the renewing of your mind. Amen. So you gotta you gotta learn to break yourself under subjection 
by studying the word of God and applying what God say about you. Amen. God said it, don't if God said it, don't let the devil say otherwise. Amen. 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 Don't accept it. Quench that fiery dog with the shield of faith. Did you hear me? Amen. And the sword of the spirit, what? Which is the word of God. Now, did you notice all this came before he said pray and always? See, most people understand the battle is won on your knees, by like your prayer chain. Amen. Jesus would rise early before day and go out and pray. Amen. Jesus would spend all night in prayer. Why? Why would God need to pray? Because he became man. So he was setting an example to show us if we want to overcome, we want to be victorious, we got to be what we call prayers. Amen. People that prayer has become our name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lord. Now, anybody talk about it, you would talk about your family. They said, no, them people are prayer. They're some praying people. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah. Every time I look around, he's praying. Every time I look around, she's praying. I always pray. Every time you say something, let me pray about that. <laughs> Let's see what God said. Amen. They ain't even got their own mind. That's right. We gave it up to Christ. Amen. 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 So I'm searching and seeking and waiting on the mind of Christ. Amen. Not Amen. my mind on the mind, but what did Jesus say? Amen. What did the Lord say? Amen. 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 And so we don't. How can you, 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 you? Y'all know that latter part it said, and the sword of the spirit. And I kind of think the the writer or the translator air when he put a capital air. I really believe that he want to say small air, the sword of your spirit. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Why would you say that, Pastor? Because the Holy Ghost is the spirit of the word. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> St. John 15, 26 said, even the spirit of truth. And then God said in the 17th chapter, 17th verse, his word is true. He said, St. John 1 and 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. So we understand that the word is truth, and the Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth, therefore he's the spirit of the word. So why would he need the sword of the word? He is the word. He is the sword of the word. Amen. So, I believe that Paul was trying to tell us that the word of God is the sword of our spirit. Thank you. Because he said in Hebrews the fourth chapter, the twelfth verse, the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two edged sword, piercing to the divine asunder of joint and marrow and soul and spirit, and of the discernment of the thoughts and intents of the heart, revealing to you and me. That is supposed to be in our spirit. Amen. David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart, Thank that I'm not sinned against thee. Amen. See, now I'm going somewhere with this because we we I think we ended it. We may not end it, but we kind of uh, gave our climax on the 18th verse. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching the unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Most people don't ever use that as part of of your weapon for warfare. Mm. Amen. I think really the true truth of it is that without a life of prayer, having all the breath, the blessed spirit of righteousness, your loins girded to the truth, having the, your feet shod, the purpose of the gospel of peace, having the heaven of salvation, and having the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit won't benefit you. Mm. Because we wrestle not. If you read the whole chapter, you realize we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Amen. So while you're walking around trying to use the word out here in the open, the enemy done already set itself up, got his stuff together, and about to knock you out. That's it. Mm. But if you've already you. solidified mm. what God said about you in your prayer time, that when you go forth, the enemy has the buy. Amen. Because you've already, it's kind of like I, I Joshua and Caleb, Caleb said, 
that their strength have departed from them and they are bread for us. Mm. What was he talking about? The spirit being that was empowered those people in the land of Canaan had been driven out. <laughs> the demons that enabled them, that empowered them, had fled. Because mm -hmm. the angel of the Lord went before them mm -hmm. and drove out the inhabitants of the land. They weren't talking about the human beings, they were talking about the spirits. Yeah. So when those angels went forth and drove out those spirits, now the human beings were just shells waiting to be conquered. But Israel looked at the shell and got afraid. Mm -hmm. Not realizing that the shell without the force behind it was nothing but an empty vessel. Mm. Thank you. But we go out and we face these vessels unprepared and get afraid and then run back to God and cry like a baby and wonder why God ain't moving above. Mm -hmm. But the scripture said when Caleb and them was saying, he said, let us go up at once mm -hmm. and possess it. He right. said possess the land, but we're talking about possess the promise of God here tonight. Mm -hmm. And let us go up at once and possess it. What did he mean by it? Why was he telling us to go up at once to possess it? Because he knew Thank you. that if God be pleased with them, <laughs> he had given them the land. Lord. So all they had to do was go possess it. Shabbat. Mm -hmm. He's given unto us all things richly to be enjoyed. The Apostle Paul said, Let no man glory in men, for all things are yours. The Apostle Paul said that we are heirs of God, speaking by the Holy Ghost. He said, We are heirs of God and join us with Christ. So if God has given us all things, then the scripture said he blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So not only has he given us all things in the world, but he's given us all spiritual things. Mm. So who's the rightful owner? <laughs> See, I am. I am. Every born again child of God has the rightful owner of this planet. And not just this planet, but that might be too much for y'all to comprehend, so I'm not going to go further than the planet right now. <laughs> Amen. You are the rightful owner if you're a born again child of God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody else that have taken possession of what rightfully belongs to you is a trespasser. Trespasser. There you go. A trespasser. An interloper. Mm -hmm. Squaw. <laughs> a squaw. Yeah. Huh? So you have to, what you have to do is. Stay. Lord. Have your Lord girded about with truth. What? Have your mind girded about what God said. Amen. Amen. Because the enemy, by when you look at him, he got it, and you're going to have it make you think that he actually has the right to have it. Mm. And you know, one of the things that, that amazes me is that people don't understand the power of fear and how it cripples you. It robs you of your ability to even think, to remember. They come up against the same old thing that they may experience last year, even before they had 10 years ago. And God, and they may not even knew it was God, utilized something to give them victory. And they'll face this thing again and fall right back into the same fear. And uh, most of the time, then be overcome by it. An old enemy that they defeated years ago come back and overthrow them because they were looking at the exterior and not the interior. See, I don't believe for one minute that just because the pain goes, I got the victory. It's when the spirit of it leaves. Thank you, Lord. The pain can be still there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't want people to think like I think, but you get in the Bible, you will. Mm -hmm. The pain could be still there, but when the Spirit leaves, I know I got the victory. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. see, see, the pain can go, mm -hmm. and that could be a deception. Right. Mm -hmm. That you guard, Dan. 
just to get you to relax, mm -hmm. then the devil take you out. Mm -hmm. Amen. So people are too caught up in the external and not the internal. What you mean by that? Too caught up in the natural and not the spiritual. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against power, mm -hmm. against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So if that's what we're wrestling against, those are spiritual beings that you can't see with your natural eye. But they are causing cal calamitous conditions in our life, hello, mm -hmm. that make it seem like that they got power. Mm -hmm. But that's when you, like I said, you got to encourage your own self on you that. You got to encourage your own heart to remember. You got to put yourself in remembrance. Not to put God in remembrance. You got to put yourself in remembrance. That what God had done for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mm. Paul said, The angel of, of the God who I am and whom I serve have appeared unto me this night and told me there shall be no loss except the laden of the ship. Mm. What did he say? He reminded him mm -hmm. that he had to go to Rome. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Mm -mm. Something that God had already told him. So he really truly didn't need an angel to remind him. He could have reminded himself. Amen. Paul, didn't the Lord tell you you got to go to Rome? Mm -hmm. So claim all these folk too. So all y'all get to Rome. <laughs> when Jesus was out there on the ship. See, you got to conquer whatever this is that's hindering you Lord. in your prayer time. Mm. You got to get rid of whatever this is that's hindering you and breaking what God said in your prayer time. So so, so, Jesus was out there in the ship sleep. I think it's the eighth chapter of the book of Matthew. On the way across the water. And all of a sudden, the storm came up. And the disciples were fighting to try to keep the water out and save the ship. And somebody said, Master, you don't care if we perish. Then somebody said, how can he just lay there and sleep? And sleep? And sleep? Mm -hmm. So, so they they awakened Jesus out of his sleep, mm -hmm. and Jesus said, "This this was this was strange." He said, "Oh, you little thing." So, what most of us don't understand is, if God has spoken pertaining to you, nothing the devil can do can change it. Only you can. So if you refuse to change your mind about it, and you stand fast on it, then the enemy will have to change his mind. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. Well, they got to what you just said. Amen. First of all, mm. if you don't get the word in heart, inside your heart, we're going to deal with that issue in a minute. When you start praying, your prayer, your prayer will be in vain. Because mm -hmm. you're going to be praying in unbelief. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're going to be praying and somebody say, do you understand what unbelief is? That's not accepting what God said being so. Amen. You're going to be praying, hoping something happened. Praying, hoping that God would do something. Praying that it might, it, oh, please let it happen, Lord. Please let it come to bed. Please what? What? Mm -hmm. Let it come to bed. It's already come to bed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hello. Paul said well, he was spared not his own son. Hmm. But delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? So if you receive Jesus, what he gave you with Jesus? All, all things. Lord. There, was, there was a crazy moment back there, but I didn't dig it. Mm -hmm. I held it this. <laughs> There was a time to get beside myself. I felt it, but I held it. I held it this. Because, mm -hmm. see, but we got to embrace, and I said this back there some weeks ago. Who's on board? <laughs> Woo! Glory. Amen. Hey. Hallelujah. You in the midst of the storm, <laughs> and as Pastor Wright reiterated Sunday, if you're in the midst of the storm and the creator of the wind and the waves and the waters on the ship, mm -hmm. They know who the master is. They know who the creator is. Mm. Do you really think the creation will destroy the creator? Mm. 
But the thing is, the reason why we're cowering in fear, backing up in fear, is because we don't believe who's on board. Amen. When you're dealing with the demonic forces of hell, and they're cutting up, and I mean literally cutting up now, because a lot of them, I mean, a lot of them showing up now. Mm -hmm. Amen. Do you have a dawn on you when you're facing them, who you are? I, I cease to think about who I am, physically speaking. Y'all hear me? Yeah. The, only, the only thing that I want to know is that I'm right with God. And ain't nobody else got anything to do with that but me. So if nobody else can interfere with my relationship with God but me, but me. I can know I'm right with God. Hallelujah. Hey! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So I know that I know I'm right with God. Then whatever God said about me is so. So when I'm facing that demon, it's not me he ought to deal with. Thank you. Amen. I said, the one that's in you, the greater one. Right. Mm. That's why John wrote it. You have God little children. Mm. And you have overcome them. Not because you're something special, mm. but because greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. Woo! Glory. Amen. Amen. Mm. I don't have to worry about fighting. Because mm. the greater one go fight. <laughs> Woo! Glory. Hallelujah. Because God said he's our real reward. Mm. Yeah. He got our back. Amen. Amen. What did David say? By my God, I ran through a troop and I leaped over a wall. Mm. By my God. Yeah. But we forget that. Yes. Yeah. And we look at these people that seem like they're the superstars. Yeah. And not really realizing that these superstars, and most of the time what make us think they're superstars because they're operating in the gifts of the Spirit. But when you look behind the curtain and you see their personal life, we're not going there. But you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Throw up from the floor up. But because of what we see them out there performing, not understanding that is the gifts yeah. of the spirit that operate severally as he will. He will. Yeah. So all they have to do is get in the spirit mm -hmm. and the Holy Ghost start moving and the gifts will manifest. But when they don't, the gifts are not manifested. And I've had this said to me, I've had it told to me that I pray for others and they get healed, but I pray for myself and nothing happens. They said, why is that? <laughs> simple question, simple answer. It's either they're believing or the gifts of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because if you pray for everybody else and they get healed, you pray for yourself, you can't get healed. Don't ask nobody the question. You don't have a faith. Mm -hmm. According to your faith, mm -hmm. Matthew 9 and 29. It's going to be done unto you. If you can't believe, Lord, 9 and 23, all things are possible. Hallelujah. Mom, nine, yeah, hello? Yes, so it, 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 ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with that you something special in God. Is that Woo! you just happen to get in the spirit and God needed a vessel that was open to that and he began to move. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, often, and so often, so often, so often, they begin to take the praise for that and then they lose everything. I'm for real. Thank you, next special. No, we just, we, the Bible says we're all lively stones built together for the habitation of God through the Spirit. Every one of us supplies a lack of the other. That's a perfect for every member from, from, from the shoulders on down to the toes. Thank you, Father. Amen. We are just the suit, the glove, the shoes, the jacket, the pants, the shirt, the skirt, whatever you want to call it. Y'all let it get flip out sometimes when you <laughs> mail the charge mm -hmm. to get delivered. Mm -hmm. You came from Maine. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I came out of my mama. No, originally your mama came out of Maine. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Don't mess with me. What was first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> Thank you. 
Amen. You think some of these new bodies they think, but they don't they ain't got to send their old bone with them. You're right. Amen. So if every baby came from a man, a human being, so they had to be a first man and a first woman for the baby to be born. God told you who they were, Adam and Eve. There's a way they stink. There's a way they they couldn't get that ignorance on their own. They had to have some help. That's supernatural ignorance. Amen. 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 So, 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 don't get offended with me because I use the the, the male gender terminology sometimes. I mean, all of mankind, human kind. Amen. Amen. So, so once once we we understand, once we see and recognize that the enemy will do anything in his power to make you believe that you got to fight him, that it's you doing it then you will always go by how you feel and what it looks like. But when you realize it's not you, that all you have to do is maintain a relationship. That's it. That's it. And it's God that will do it through you. He worketh in you to will and to do of his good pleasure. His good pleasure is that you may have the kingdom. Are you understand what I'm saying? So the enemy wants you to think that you got to do other than yield, submit, and obey. That's all you got to do. Because mm-hmm. yield, submit, and obey. Mm-hmm. God take care of the rest. Amen. So that's why most people's prayer life is so feeble because they're trying to make something happen. No, we're trying to get in line. Somebody say, get in line. Get in line. Say it one more time. Get in line. Get in line. We're trying to line up with what God already done. Amen. 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 If, 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 listen, if, if the water is already, uh, the well is already there, the pump is already there, the electricity is already to the pump, but you don't have no water in your house. The only reason why you ain't got no water in your house is you ain't got no pipe to it. Amen. Hook up the pipes. <laughs> Thank you. Hallelujah. And the water will flow to your house. Amen. I know I lost a whole lot of people right there. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm going to say it again. Hook up the pipes Amen. and the Holy Ghost will flow into your house. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. The only reason why ain't no power in your house is because the pipes are either busted or was never hooked up. Because <laughs> I did the show as I'm standing in the pulpit, God is. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. So all you got to do is line up, hook up. The Bible Paul said the legitimacy is that he filled with the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, Pastor, I don't want to be that way. But no, do you really? They that thirst with home around the right man shall be filled. He said, He that believe on me, out of his belly shall flow rivers. If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. But he that believe on me, out of his belly shall flow that seventh chapter, I believe, of John, the 35th verse, somewhere there. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. This spake he of the Holy Spirit, which had not yet been given at that time. But the Holy Ghost came on the day of Pentecost a few thousand years ago. Hello. Amen. So if the Holy Ghost is already here, then why aren't we hooked up to the firehouse? Mm. Thank you, Lord. Guess what? And I, I like this. I, I like this verse because a lot of people don't pay attention to it. They don't, they don't understand. It. That we receive the Spirit through faith. Mm. You understand what I just told you? Mm-hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So we, when we fail, the only reason why we don't have those drop in our life is because we don't believe. Thank you. You got to believe. That's right. Hello. Mm-hmm. Hello. Infectiously working with them that believe. You got to believe. Believe what? That the Holy Ghost is in him. And that he didn't come along to be a reload. A hitchhiker. A hobo. And you get all that mess out through prayer. Be careful with nothing. Be fearful over nothing. Be full of anxiety over nothing. Be troubled over nothing. But through prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. You get all that mess out of you in prayer. Cast your burdens upon the Lord. He'll sustain yourself. Now you'll step to be moved. 
Cast your care upon him, for he cares for you. Acknowledge him in all your ways, he direct your path, but make your well and trust also in him, he brings the pass. Hello? Yeah. Not like anybody home. Yeah. But the reason why a lot of us can't get to that place is because we don't understand. When you're praying, you're not trying to, you can't, let, let me say this. God is so big that the universe can't hold him. How you gonna move him? <laughs> I know I need to let that rest while because some people don't understand it. You can't move God to do nothing. Right. Hello. Look at it. Look at the finite trying to say to the infinite, I need you to do this. Hmm. Know your role. Glory to God. Stay in your lane. Amen. Stay in your place. Amen. God's going to do what God do. Mm. You know, I'm going to say this and somebody will look at me crazy. Listen, 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 listen. God is going to do God and you need to do you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Woo, glory. He's going to do it. And see, if you caught that part about lining up and hooking your pipes up, you don't understand what I'm talking about. Yeah. But if you didn't get that part, you missed it. You way out somewhere crying and mad at me or whatever. Yeah. 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 Amen. God go do him. You need to do you. Yeah. And when you do you, then you will see. Yeah. Amen. What he said is so. Yeah. Mm. But what you mean by do me? You the servant, you the master. Mm -hmm. Do what the master say do, and you'll find out that what he say will work. Amen. Amen. Mm. Now, look at 1 John, the fifth chapter. Let me throw this in there before I forget about it. And leave it out. I've, I've kind of hit it a few times without even re I referred to it a few times without even seeing it. And some of y'all probably got it. This is this is one of the things that have always been a, uh, a emboldening verse for me. And this is the comment, it's 14 verse, fifth chapter, first epistle of John. And this is the confidence. Are y'all hearing me? The assurance, the conviction, the inner knowing. What is that confidence, Pastor, that inner knowing? That we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, what did they call it? So if I'm praying, I don't have to pray shooting in the dark. Mm. Shabbat, the Lord will be you safe. Amen. Goodness, I banish you from the right. Lord. Oh, glory. Now, listen, there's no reason to be wondering mm. whether he's going to hear you or not. Amen. There's no reason to be troubled. I don't know if God hears me or not. Mm. I don't know if God heard me or not. You can make sure. That God hears you always. Mm. That's so powerful. Everybody has been knocked out right there. They should have been knocked out by the power of God, been stretched out on the floor. Lord. Jumping. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You can know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God hears you. I don't care if the house is shaking from an earthquake, the chandelier that fell off the ceiling, out the, out the ceiling, the children are cracking, you hear the bowl buckling, and look like the floor about to collapse. Mm -hmm. In the midst of all that, you can have full assurance that God is you. I don't care if you stand, you didn't get to the house in time and, and a tornado was coming and you're out in the open and you see the phone mm -hmm. and it's running at you wide open. I had so many dreams and visions of that, it ain't even funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not for real. Mm -hmm. Tornado's coming at me. Now I'm in the wide open, nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. Mm -hmm. This had to do me. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get back to this. So no matter whether you're standing there, you see the thing coming at you, you can have full assurance, yeah. total confidence that God hears you. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Amen. If you speak and pray according to his will. Amen. This is what I've been trying to teach people for almost 50 years. Amen. That this is God's will. Yeah. This what I read, this contains, yeah. this describes the will of God. Thank you. Mm. Lord. Ooh. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yep, Lord. But I, I've run up on so many people want to change and twist and, and mess with it. That's why I don't work for them like that's why it's an in and out situation, up and down situation with them. They don't work consistently. I've tried this. I've proven that it worked. Hello. Somebody said, what you mean by that? I thought you went through. That's right, I went through. Didn't get that far, did you? Mm -hmm. If I'd have been stuck, that means it didn't work. Thank you. But because I went through, that means it worked. Amen. <laughs> Just like I've gone through a whole lot of stuff. Amen. And worked the word and came out. Hallelujah. When you ain't coming out, that means you stuck. Where is your faith? <laughs> they say, where is, where is your faith? I say, oh, you have little faith. Oh, you have little faith. <laughs> so this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. So you can be sure, you can find a place that you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God hears you. No matter what the circumstance is, no matter what the need is, no matter what is before you, you know that if you cry out to God, God will hear you. That's right. Amen. How? As God is with. Then watch this. Watch this. This is so powerful. The next, not, not just that he hears you. This is what's so powerful about this lesson that John wrote. The next verse said, and if we know that he hear us, mm -hmm. whatever we ask, yeah. we know what? That we have the petitions we that we desire. So if I ask according to his will, I know he hears me. Yeah. Amen. And if he hears me, then I have. What I asked him for. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Whatever he asked in my name, yes. that will I do, Jesus said, mm -hmm. that the Father may be glorified in the Son. He said, Ask and it shall be given. Mm -hmm. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. Mm -hmm. But everyone that asks and receives, mm -hmm. he that seeketh find unto him that knocketh, it is open. You understand that? You understand? So the only thing that's hindering us is the fact that we're not staying connected. We're not pipe. We ain't connected our pipes up, and the Spirit of God is not flowing in our life. Mm -hmm. But when the Spirit of God is flowing in your life, that is the connection to the power that makes this so. Amen. So when I'm praying, if I pray in line with what God said, it connects a pipe up to that situation where that power flows through me into that situation. Yeah. When God created everything, he created it by the word and the spirit. Are y'all hearing me? God spoke word and the spirit moved. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. But we don't want that. We want God to do everything without us having to do anything. That is the flesh. That is lazy. Complacent and indifferent. And I used to wonder why people didn't couldn't see what God said in the second chapter of the book of Genesis. He took the man. Now remember now, this at the beginning where there was nothing on earth that hurt our home. There was no sin. There was no death. There was no sickness, no disease. God took the man that he had made and placed him east in the Garden of Eden. Uh, east in the Garden. Hello, somebody. And told him to till it and to keep it. He made him the what the gardener. Yeah. With not listen, there was no reason to worry about anything dying, getting sick, wearing out. Amen. But God told Adam to go to work. Mm -hmm. So the book of beginnings teaches us. The purpose of man. Mm -hmm. But people miss it. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes. He told him to keep the God, to till the God. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Go to work and preserve it. 
go to work and make sure it prosper and flourish and grow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But you know, we come back and say, God, you prosper it. You make it flourish. You make it grow. <laughs> God, you fertilize around that tree. Whoa, whoa. You, trim, you trim the bad branches off. Lord, you, you nurture it and keep the, the blight out of it. Mm -hmm. Then I would just go cool the fruit and eat it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting on the law. Keep waiting. God is go heal me. God already heal you, honey. Already. Already. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Already. Already. Where are you gonna take possession? Amen. Where are you gonna take possession? Right. When are you going to take possession? Thank you, Lord. So this is what has been the hindrance to having a successful life and walk in God is because we have a weak, feeble prayer life. And it's weak and feeble because we are always praying future tense. Mm -hmm. Hope so. Wonder. Maybe so. <laughs> Woe is me. Please, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. <laughs> If you if you're blessing anybody, Lord, please you don't forget. Lord, I bless you. Don't forget. Singing them an unbelieving song, yeah. and wonder why they can't trust God. I'm climbing up. He never told you to climb no mountain. Where do you find that in the Bible? Amen. Jesus told you to speak to the mountain, tell it be removed. He never said nothing about climbing no mountain. Me, I'm climbing up. I ain't climbing no mountain. I'm going to tell you to move. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hallelujah. Well, you trying to tell me I can have victory 24 7. He already gave you the victory. Walk in. 1 Corinthians 15 and 57. Thank God that God will give us a victory. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He's already given you the victory. What do you mean? He said in Romans 8 and 37, you're more than a conqueror. So, what, 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 what are you trying to say to me? Who you gonna believe? Who you for? Hello? And then they rather believe in God's lying to them. Then they be right back the next day trying to get another lie. <laughs> and trying to get another lie. And they better be careful because that borderline fortune telling. Y'all hear what I'm saying? That borderline fortune telling, that's real close to witchcraft and divination. Because God required every prophet that ever spoke to anybody in the Bible, it was a requirement placed on them. Hello. And when those people didn't live up to the requirement, mm. ooh, that was something to think. Mm. But these prophets just passing out. Mm. Passing out prophecies like 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 they just pulling police out of out of a book or something. Mm. Hey, Amen. And they got the nerve to say, if it don't come to pass, they just chalk it off, they just learned and they just missed it. The whole Bible says you're a false prophet. Right. Yeah. That's how you know you're a false prophet. You prophesy something that don't come to pass. Right. So you shut your mouth until you know God said it, didn't you say? Hallelujah. Stop Amen. trying to showboat and put on a show and try to get people to think you this and you that and none of the, the most of the stuff you saying ain't coming back. You're hitting and missing. Mm. You're missing more than you're hitting. <laughs> there was a psychic here in the United States of America, a male psychic, and he has an accuracy of 96%. Mm. A lot of these so-called prophets I know they ain't got focus in that. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's sad Amen. that we wait on God and God waiting on us. Amen. It's sad mm -hmm. that we wait on God to do something about the devil and God waiting on us. One thing you found. Hello. Nowhere, nowhere in the, in the New Testament, after the resurrection and ascension of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, do you find it telling you to pray to God to do anything about the devil? Yeah. Nowhere. Yeah. But he told us to do something about the devil. That's right. So how do we do it? In our prayer life. Yeah. Put on the whole arm of God and go to war. People say you put on the whole arm of God and go out. No, you better put on the whole arm of God and get on your knees and pray through, then go out. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Hello. What you mean by pray through? Get the victory? Yeah. Amen. How do you get the victory? Receive it. 
So once you arm and equip yourself with the knowledge and, 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 and the confidence that you got it, then you get up and go on and do what you got to do. But a lot of folks, they just pray and pray and spouting words and singing vain songs and repeating what they heard in somebody's song or somebody's prayer. And, <laughs> and then go out there and, and fail and come back home and tell between the legs crying, Lord, why? 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 You know something I, I learned and I said this to my daughter the day. I said, I came out for many years finding out and realizing that, that I didn't just come out of it by myself. God used my biological father to put this in me. He said, son, don't let them waddle in the mud. Get up and try it again. Mm -hmm. There was always this drive in me to never quit. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. It ain't over until God says it's over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he used my biological daddy to put that in me. Yes, thank you, Lord. Because I look back and I never remember ever crawling in a corner and crying. Balling up in a knot and crying. Put me in a corner and I come out fighting. Amen. Amen. So he said, fight the good fight of faith. So where are you supposed to fight it at? Not in people's faces. No, on your knees. You win the battle on your knees. Mm -hmm. He spent all night in prayer. He rose early in prayer. You get the victory on your knee. You wait till you're facing the situation and try to get the victory. You're about to get beat down. Mm -hmm. Amen. You win. You defeat that demonic spirit before you go face the shell. Mm -hmm. And when you get there, the shell may bow. Amen. So once the enemy know that I already put the penis behind, and I show up, I say, did I tell you to go? He go. That's why I never be concerned about demonic spirits and all that kind of stuff. Because who's the master? Whoa, glory. No, they got to say that. Who's the master? <laughs> Amen. Amen. So we walk out there and the devil be cutting the fool and acting stupid and carrying on. We get scared and get and the first thing. Understand, fear and faith don't work in the same heart. The moment you get afraid, what happened to your shield? Oh, God. Your shield say, whoop. When your shield is down, the dots get through. Amen. 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 And I'll say this, and I'm going to keep on saying it. And if people say, they call me crazy, whatever you want, I'm about to come in. But in prayer, you got to learn how to seek God until you know mm -hmm. for yourself that you have received. Yes, Lord. I don't care what you're praying about. Thank you, Lord. Now, when you're praying for somebody else, you keep praying out to God that you get a witness. But when you're praying about yourself, you pray until you know in your heart of heart. Mm. Now, I'm going to use that word again, y'all, that you believe. Don't you get up off your face. Wrestling them with that thing. He shouldn't have been fighting Star Wars based in real life. He shouldn't have been because he might end up dead with an aneurysm or something. Mm -hmm. But he got knocked up against the pen. And he was having all kinds of flashbacks. Mm -hmm. They think he was about to have an aneurysm. Mm -hmm. Seeing his life pass in front of him. Mm -hmm. And then he cried out once he got himself together. You old Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> One more round. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, the devil think he got me down. I said, yo, devil, one more, one more round. <laughs> it ain't over. So my daddy says it's over. Amen. Let's pray. Father, I'm so grateful for the day that I was doing to share this word. Thank I pray that somebody got a revelation and will begin to take the Ooh. word serious and understand it's more than just a level page. Mm. It's more than just words that you come from a preacher. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. That word is what empowers us and strengthens us. It is the bread from heaven. In you, what he's already done for you, you're going to be waiting. Thank God for the saints. Appreciate you coming out. Appreciate you taking time to your busy schedule to be encouraged to be lifted up and receive that and grant the word of the city. Somebody said, well, when did, when did you get enough milk? Did you stop eating this project yesterday? Did you eat today? Are you going to eat tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Man does not live by bread alone. Mm -hmm. Whatever word of the season follows the mouth of God. Well, when are you going to stop encouraging people to get in the word, Amen. <laughs>
I'm, I'm the man on the mountaintop with the trumpet. <laughs> going, <laughs> Remember back then, years ago, y'all don't know nothing about this because you're too young. <laughs> Used to work in the field. And my, my granddad and them had a bell. Mm -hmm. That when it was time for lunch, race. Hey Amen. I'm excited about this race thing. So I am thrilled. I'm thrilled beyond a doubt, shadow of a doubt, that we are living in the last days. This is it. Persecution against the Israelites, against Jewish people, against the church has escalated. Amen. And now our country is being set up right now for the fall of, of, of evangelicals. We are being branded as terrorists. Yeah. I'm real. Just because we believe in the Constitution of the United States of America, yeah. the law of the land. The same people that took an oath to uphold the Constitution want to call us terrorists. Because yeah. we believe in it. Ain't that weird? But see, what people understand, yeah. <laughs> think about that for a minute. Yeah. Christians ain't out there cutting people's head off, yeah. killing their own family members because they done switched over to the Western way of life. Christians don't do that. Mm -hmm. We don't make people serve God. We give them an opportunity. Amen. But yet they want to shut us down. Mm -hmm. They want to close our mouth. Mm -hmm. Why? Why are they so afraid mm -hmm. of those that truly believe that Jesus is the Christ? Because mm -hmm. they know he is. Mm -hmm. And they think if they can get enough people to side with him, it's really not them, it's the one that's in them. Mm -hmm. But if he can get enough people to side with him, then he can beat the Lord. I still try to figure that out. I guess because you know that we made in God's image and that's his likeness. You think that we have the capacity to be dead. But he, he must have missed what Jesus said. You remember now, Jesus is God. But God said that the Father was greater than him. <laughs> so the Father is greater than the Son. Jesus is now the hope of the Word of God. And the Father, God, is greater than him. I mean, you got to understand Jesus. Once you understand Jesus, then, and you go, whoa. Whoa, now, whoa. Once you understand, and he said you're greater than him. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no. waste our time thinking that we're going to win them. That ain't happening. No. But that's why I always use that terminology, dead and don't flesh. Amen. That's how dead fool with them, fool all of them. But if a being can just say a few words and you get and you get cast down, you think you're going to win any damn devil? But now you think you will ever win that fight? You, you kill Jesus' body, mm. you open the gates, and he, well, he snatched the gates off the hinges, just like Samuel snatched them off. He came in and took the captive and led them captive. Yeah. You couldn't stop him. Do mm. <laughs> 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 you really think you're going to win this one? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think you do, God. Mm. I think you're trying to get back at God by taking a minute to deal with him as he can. Mm. So I just got the money to anyone that's beside my boy. If you're not saved, you're not born again, don't get set up. Because the devil's not going to win this. He's already lost. He's trying to get as many recruits to go into the lake of fire as he can. God didn't create you for the lake of fire. He created you for heaven. He created you for his glory. So you should buy your knees right now and say, Jesus, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I've sinned against you and against heaven. Give me for taking so long. You died for my sins and I believe that. Be my Lord. Save me. Say it, and he will save you right now. Hallelujah. God bless you. See you next time. Facebook, YouTube, friends. Appreciate you.